Shalom, and welcome to a, another installment of Elders of GMS giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Not Christ. Not Christ. Not Ahiah. Not Yeshia. Not Yahweh. But Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Anyway, today's topic is entitled, it's basically piggybacking off of the last week's uh, uh, thing that we did, or uh, 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 um, installment that we did, and uh, we, had a, we have a title for it, and the, the title is um, Dissecting Black Satan's Madness, all right? And that might just be a series, oh. you know, have different guys and just dissect all their madness, man. Um, anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go right back to the uh, video that this guy did. Basically, he was saying, if you saw last week's uh, show, he was basically saying that we're going off because uh, reincarnation is not in the Bible. So, you know, we're just going to go back into it. So, And reincarnation. If you were teaching reincarnation, see, he's going to send another man back. Right? Well, let's see. First of all, Elijah never died. That's number one. Elijah was taken up in a cloud. So that kills that theory from the gate. All right? That he would die and come back. All right? The other thing is this. He was not talking about Elijah coming back as Elijah. He was saying that someone would come in the spirit of Elijah and will prove it. And Christ even identified who that was so that we could not think it was Alba Bivens in the 70s. Let's get that. Let's get Matthew 11 and 14. Let's get that. Got it? Read that. Matthew 11 and 14. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias which was for to come. Let's start up a little bit so we'll know who it is. Start at 11. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, they have not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Go ahead. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. The kingdom of heaven, which is Israel, suffered violence, read. And the violent take it, take it by force. Go ahead. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. Go ahead. And if ye will receive it. And if you will receive it, this is who? This is Elias. This is Elias, read. Which was for to come. Was for to come before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Then they say, well, when Christ came, that wasn't a great and dreadful day. Yes, it was, because when Christ came and was crucified, that was the beginning of the fall of Satan. Satan's time to rule started ticking. So, John came in the same spirit of, of Elijah. Luke 1 and 16, to show you that it's... Okay, let's deal with this. Hold up, let me put this down. Let's go back to the scripture that he just read. That's why I, I, I gave it that title. Yep. Uh, matter of fact, I look up the word dissect. Um, go ahead and read that. Matthew chapter 11, verse 11. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days... Excuse me. Of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Read that key point again. It says, and if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. Did the Lord say this was the spirit of Elijah? Elijah? Read, read it again. And if you will receive it. And that's why he said, and if you will receive it, because a lot of people are not going to receive it. Like bubble lies. Like, like, like uh, black Satan. <laughs> yeah. All right? Yeah, black Go Satan. Go ahead. 
This is Elias. It didn't say spirit. Where did he get spirit from? And he read it. He, he didn't read it from a different Bible. He read it from the same Bible. Yeah. This is Elias. Go ahead. The person. Which was for to come. Which were for to come. Right. Fulfilling what? Malachi. Yep. Malachi. Ma matter of fact, let's go to Malachi, the fourth chapter. Let's read the whole chapter. I got the word for you if you want. Go to. ahead. Uh, dissect. To cut apart or separate. Uh, especially for autonomical study. To examine analyze or criticize in minute detail in other words, we're going into the minute into minuteness <laughs> that's a word <laughs> yeah, yeah we can make up words too God, you yeah, know yeah. you know what wordsmith. i mean wordsmith gms wordsmith go ahead <laughs> it says um, malachi 4 and 1 for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud jay and all that do wickedly shall be stubble right in a nutshell that the day that comes that shall burn as the oven is talking about the nuclear uh, missiles that's going to destroy this place, and all the proud, yeah, all that do wicked wickedness or wickedly, the proud is Esau. All that do wickedness are these wicked ass Israelites. Go ahead, shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name, right. So what is the Lord's name? His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. This guy is saying the Lord's name is Ahiah, and um, his, his, his son's name is Yeshia. He was named after a wicked nigga that we all know. Now, my question is this. He can respond back to this. My question is this to you, black Satan, or Satan black. Um, where did you, yeah, not Sonny black, but Sonny uh, Satan black, where did you learn the Hebrew from? That's, that's my only question. Since you're a mass in the Hebrew, I would like to know, I would like for you to tell me and tell the people in YouTube land or whatever video that they're watching, um, where did you learn the Hebrew from? That's all I got to say. Right. Or all I have to ask. Go ahead. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healings in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. And you shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes. And who's the wicked? Wicked. The wicked is Esau. This same Satan black, he's talking about there's going to be a, a handful of Edomites that's going to make it. And to this day, he has not come up with the scripture. He has not come up with one scripture. Go ahead. For they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall. That's the wicked, which is Esau. They shall be ashes under the sole of your feet. Go ahead. It says, In the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts, Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Now that was talking about Abba. But he came, he came two times. He came as John the Baptist, and he came as Abba. Because Abba was the one that raised, had uh, raised up Ariadne, of which you learnt the, learnt the scriptures from, man. You damn fool. All right, now let's, let's you, you have some out? No. Go ahead. Now, when we read that, it says, the, the Lord said, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. He said he was going to send Elijah. He didn't say he was going to send somebody in the likeness of Elijah or in the spirit of Elijah. He said he was going to send Elijah, the man himself. And now the people knew that John the Baptist was Elijah because they asked, asked him if he was, if you got that, bring it on out, if you can get it. Who's anybody look it up? Yeah. Just look up the word Elijah in the New, Te in the New Testament and it'll say, because they asked him, the people asked him, um, are uh, you Elijah, which they understood reincarnation, and he said no. Now, why did he say no? Because he didn't know that he was Elijah coming back. It was the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that had to explain to them that this, that this is Elijah, which is forth to come. Oh, proven. Yeah, proven that in that scripture, in Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, it says there's no remembrance of the former things. That's, That's right. right. That's yeah. right. That's why he couldn't remember. 
But now the, the Lord, Yahushai, remembered. That's why he was able to say, well, this guy is Elijah coming back. And this guy is that guy. That's why, well, it said this. Uh, give me that, um, what is that, uh, Matthew 16, I believe it is. It's either Matthew 16 or, or Matthew 18, where it says, who, who, did I, who do they say I am? Some say you're Elijah. Some say you're Jeremiah. Some say